there. This is Lisa Larder, and welcome to this week's edition of Shop Talk. This week, we have a question from Gail Friend of Burnaby, British Columbia, fellow Canadian. Thanks, Gail, for your question. And her question is, I see all kinds of people tweeting, and I notice that there's a link that has an FB dot something something attached to it and it would appear that their tweets are all coming from Facebook. Can you tell me how to set that up? And I sure can tell you how to set that up. Not only am I going to tell you how to set it up, I'm also going to talk to you about why it may or may not be a good idea to do that for your business. So if you want to know how to link your Facebook account to Twitter, your page to Twitter, all you have to do is go to facebook.com forward slash Twitter. And you can see here it will allow you to either link your personal profile to Twitter or one of your pages. So if I wanted to scroll all the way down here, let me find it. And I wanted to link my Lisa Larder page to Twitter. I can click on link to Twitter and what's going to happen is it's going to prompt me to authorize this. So it's asking me do I authorize Facebook to use my account to link my tweets to Twitter. So I am going to authorize the app so that my Facebook page is now connected to Twitter. Now I'm going to go to my Facebook page, Lisa, and I'm going to click on here. And I am going to show you if I scroll down. Uh, demo of how, oops, my computer's got a mind of its own today. All right. Demo of how to link Facebook to Twitter. And I'm going to post. All right. So now that's being posted as a status update for me on Facebook. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to Twitter. And I'm going to go to me. And I'm going to show you right here demo of how to link Facebook to Twitter. So that is an example of how to make this work. Now I also want to show you I asked a question today and my question was where is it? Way down here. Do you like it when people link their Facebook account to Twitter? And I want to just show you some of the replies that I got on Twitter today. So if I scroll way down here, there's more questions and or more responses. So here, no, different audiences. No, especially when the message is truncated. No, not at all. Twitter is Twitter. Facebook is Facebook. Hells no, redundant information is redundant. Absolutely not. Completely different platforms. It's anti-community. I found most Facebook content awash in redundancy. Not really. I don't. I use TweetDeck to decide. Then I get interesting question. Never, because what I responded and asked is, do you ever click on a link if it starts with FB? Actually, never. Good content worth reading is hosted on a page that someone owns and pays for. Then, oh, Mac Envy, because my new Mac, iMac is coming today. So you can go to my Twitter profile and you can read and you can see almost everybody said no. So then what I did is I went to Facebook and I asked the exact same question on my per personal profile. Do you like seeing tweets posted on Facebook or Facebook updates auto posted on Twitter? And you'll see the same thing. There's a whole bunch of comments here and they all say the exact same thing. No, 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 no. The reason people do not like this is because it signifies to them that you are not really present. It's easy to automate a presence online, but it's really easy for people to spot when you are also not 
present to participate in the conversation. And linking your accounts is the best way to signal people that you're not interested in really talking to them. You're just interested in broadcasting and automating things so that it goes everywhere and you don't necessarily have to be there to participate in the conversation. So if you have your account set up that way, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can go up here and you can go to settings. And when you go to settings on Twitter and you go to apps, let me show you. You can revoke access. Facebook to Twitter. So I am going to revoke access. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Facebook and I'm going to go facebook.com forward slash Twitter because that's where you go to set it up. And I am going to scroll back down here to where my account is. And I'm going to click unlink from Twitter. Now my account is unlinked from Twitter and I don't need to worry about my posts going out to Twitter any longer. It has been unlinked. It's over, done with, gone. And my preference is to show up and participate in the conversation on the actual network that I am conversing on. If you go back over to Twitter and you look at the conversations, when people are replying to me with their opinions, I am responding to them and I'm asking more questions and it's creating dialogue and engagement and I am getting to know people. This is how I like to use social media. One person to another, one conversation at a time. And this is why my belief is, although you can automate this, it's not necessarily a good idea if your focus is on building relationships. If this was helpful, you know what to do. There are share buttons, like buttons, all that jazz. I know you know how to use it. But what I'm really most interested in is your feedback. In the comments below, I have two questions for you. Do you like this format where you get to see a little bit of me talking to you and you also get to see right on the screen exactly how to do things? So if you could tell me how you feel about that in the comments below, I would really appreciate it. The second thing that I would really like you to tell me is I want to know what your comments, feedback, and ideas are around connecting and automating your accounts. I'm really curious as to what your opinion is. This is where the fun happens with Shop Talk, is every week when you let me know what you think of these videos and you let me know your opinion on the items that are the topics that we have discussed. So please leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, if you have somebody who's annoying the heck out of you and you want them to stop connecting Facebook to Twitter, Feel free to share this video and let them gently know it might not be the best way to authentically connect and build relationships with their audience. Thanks for being here this week and I will see you next week for our next edition of Shop Talk.